सो टुडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ लिमिट सेट मेथड स्लैब्स सो हाउ वी डिजाइन स्लैब्स यूजिंग लिमिट सेट मेथड एंड आई एस फोर फाइव सिक्स टू थाउजेंड कंसिडर दिस टू बी अ स्लैब एंड लेट एल एक्स बी इफेक्टिव शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ स्लैब एल वाई बी द इफेक्टिव लॉन्ग स्पैन ऑफ स्लैब सो जनरली अ स्लैब इफ इट इज नॉट अ स्क्वेयर स्लैब इट विल डेफिनेटली हैव वन लॉन्ग स्पैन एंड वन शॉर्ट स्पैन and what we are interested in the effective short span and effective long span and lx and ly are those two capital d is the total depth of slab okay and uh, that's pretty much what is required for us d is the effective depth of slab so now there are types of slabs and we have two types of slabs one is a one way slab the other is a two way slab the major distinguishing criteria what uh, Uh, is given or what everyone suggests is that when the long span divided by the short span that ratio is greater than 2 it is called as a one way slab so if ly by lx is greater than 2 it's one way slab if ly by lx is less than or equal to 2 it is called as a two way slab this one way and two way are nothing but the way how we introduce reinforcement what is uh, seen here is that the main steel is given in the shorter span direction for one way slab now this main steel is nothing but the steel which is required to resist flexure that is bending so the steel which we uh, were designing till now as uh, for the beams and all the longitudinal reinforcement you can consider it to be that uh, that is what we call as main steel in slabs and it is given in the direction of short slab design length now there are design length to be considered in slabs for some particular calculations but that design length in one way slab for all purpose is used as a shorter span and not the longer one now this seems to be quite not right because uh, what you would suggest or what you would think is why the shorter span and why not the long span the long span should be more critical than the short span right in the long span uh, you should get more stresses or whatever this is what uh, comes intuitively to when we think about slabs but in our discussion further you will understand that why short span is more critical and why short span is much important in the in the design consideration of slab so this was about the one way slab let us talk about the two way slab so in two way slab main steel is given in both the directions in this direction and that is in the direction of short span as well as in the direction of long span that is fine but the design length here is again considered to be the short span length so this again arises a question that why short span in both in one way as well as two way let us consider this i have drawn this in stad pro so uh, let us consider this slab which is supported on two sides okay these supports you can see so it is supported on uh, let's say that there is a beam like this here and there is a beam here like this so it's supported on these two beams okay and the dimension is 7 meters by 2 meters so this is ly this is lx 7 by 2 is 3.5 which is greater than 2 so this is definitely a one way slab correct let us see how it bends and you can see it is bending in the short span right since it is supported on two or opposite edges and these opposite edges are the long edges it is but obviously going to bend in the short span so our bending is like this that is why we have to give steel in the shorter span for this case at least and uh, if you are not still convinced with this let us see the stress diagram for this so first of all let us understand what is absolute stress which is uh, given in the stad pro so if the absolute stress is like this horizontal you have to give steel perpendicular to this direction so if the absolute stress is showing horizontal it means you have to give steel like this perpendicular to this this is what about the absolute stress maximum absolute stress it will tell you that in which direction uh, the main steel should come let us talk now about the local stresses so uh, in stad pro there is a concept of also local stress and as you can see there is a axis cartesian axis shown here 
in which x, y and z you can see. So it is not very clearly visible. I will just magnify it. The x is in this direction. The y is in this direction and z is perpendicular to the screen. Okay, so this is z. x downwards, y to the right side and z perpendicular. So x is in the shorter direction. Along shorter direction. y is along longer direction or around longer span okay so you have to remember this for now that x is along shorter span y is along longer span this is mx local that you can you see this mx local here it is the moment along x direction that is moment along shorter span moment along shorter span can you see the maximum value of this? Here is the maximum value. It is 5.01 mega uh, kilonewton meter per meter. That is, this is the maximum moment that is coming along x direction or along the shorter span. Same way, I can find the maximum uh, moment which is coming along the longer span. So this is m y local. So it is moment along longer span can you see the maximum value here it is 0 0.0843 just 0 0.0843 kilonewton meter per meter so can you see the difference in the shorter span we are getting 5.01 in the longer span we are getting 0 0.0843 definitely it means that our shorter span is critical fine at least for this case where our two edges, two opposite longer edges are uh, given support. In this case, definitely our shorter span is critical. Let us consider some more cases. In this case, what I have done, I have given support on all four sides. But this is still a one-way slab. This is the short form for one-way slab, OWS. It is still a one-way slab and I have given support on all edges. That is, here is also a beam. Here there is a beam, here there is a beam and on all four edges there is a beam. Let us see how it will deflect. So this is how uh, uh, it, the deflection will look. This is a normal deflection. From this uh, you will not understand much. But from the stress diagram you will understand a lot of things. The absolute stress diagram, what I told you about the absolute stress diagram was that you have to give steel perpendicular to that. Can you see the absolute stress diagram again stretched along this and again you can see that the steel should come perpendicular like this. That is in along the shorter span. Correct? This is about the maximum absolute. Let us check the local uh, moment that is along the shorter span and along the longest span. So this is mx local or moment along uh, at the rate of short span. And what is the maximum value here? It is minus 4.49. Let us take the magnitude itself. Uh, the sign does not matter. Kilonewton meter per meter. This is along short span, okay? What about the long span? You can see it is just minus 1.15. This is along long span. So what can we conclude from this? Again the short span is critical. In short span we are getting 4.49. In long span we are getting 1.15. So this definitely says that for one way slab the short span is critical. Fine. So this is again proved. Let us go to another slab. Now it has the dimension of 5 meters by 3 meters. Okay. So what is this 5 by 3? It will come out to be less than less than 2. So this is a two-way slab. Alright. So now let us see what happens when we have two-way slab. And even in this two-way slab, I have given a restraint on all four sides. That is, the beams are present on all four sides here. And what would the deflection pattern look like? The deflection pattern is like this. 
again not much that you can understand from this but when we check up the stress diagrams let us see this is a maximum absolute stress diagram and from this uh, what we can understand is that uh, you will have to give main steel on both directions but again if you see that this is longer than this right so it is still showing that you have to give uh, steel more in perpendicular direction to this right, along the short span but fine here it is it we can safely say that we have to give steel in both the directions in the long span as well as in the short span but more clarity would be when we see the local moments so mx local that is the moment along short span short span and this will this is coming to 6.54 kilonewton meter per meter it's negative 6.54 that's fine what about the long span this is moment about long span and it is coming to just minus 2.99 so what do we understand from this as well that again my short span is critical it's 6.54 year and it's 2.99 year so now do you understand that why short span is more critical in uh, the design of slabs because it attracts more uh, what we say it attracts more stresses or it, it attracts more um, moment now this again quite does not feel right that why would the short span attract more moment yeah right why would it why should it attract more moment why not the long span so let us understand one more criteria of understanding this this is a two way slab and let us say that this is a point which has undergone deflection now this center def central deflection can be calculated using both spans either i can assume this just a minute let me draw it properly either i can assume this to be the deflection like this using the short span or i can assume this to be the deflection using the long span so i can calculate this deflection from both using both the long span as well as the short span okay and this deflection is equal when we calculate from both sides because this is for one point only and this point has to be equal uh, and the deflection is obviously equal when we calculate from both so 5 by 384 wx lx raised to 4 upon ei this is a formula for deflection uh, using a under a udl and let us say that wx is the load attracted by short span and wy is load attracted by long span okay so 5 by 384 wx lx raised to 4 upon ei 5 by 384 this should be equal to 5 by 384 wy ly raised to 4 upon ei what will get cancelled and at the end we, we will be getting wx into lx raised to 4 is equal to wy into ly raised to 4 when I rearrange this term, what I'll be getting is wx upon wy is equal to ly raised to 4 upon lx raised to 4. So wx is wy into ly by lx the whole raised to 4. Can you see how much more this wx is going to get? Again, ly by lx is uh, uh, ly is the longest span and lx is the shorter span. So this ly by lx ratio is definitely greater than 1. Okay. So that uh, raised to 4 into wy is going to give you wx. So wx is definitely going to be greater than wy. I hope you are understanding using this uh, method. So this is why the shorter span is going to attract more load and it is more critical in the design part. Let us uh, take this example now what kind of slab is it ly is uh, 5 and uh, 
LX is 3, so 5 by 3 is again less than 2, so it's a 2 way slab. Fine. By the definition, it is 2 way slab. But can you see now the restraint are only on these 2 edges? Not on all the 4 edges. We are giving only on 2 edges. Okay. How will it deflect? It is going to deflect like this. How will be the absolute stress diagram? Absolute stress diagram is like this. So what does this absolute stress diagram tell you? You have to give steel perpendicular to it. So now the steel that you have to give is in the longer direction and not in the shorter direction. Isn't it? Now the steel that you are giving is in the longer direction and only in one direction. Right? Let us again check the local stresses. So this is the MX that is the moment along the shorter span and it is 2.21. What would be the moment along longer span? It is 31.2. What it tells you is that this longer span is critical and even the absolute stress diagram is telling you that you have to provide uh, your uh, reinforcement, main steel reinforcement only in one direction. So what my point here is that even if this is a by definition 5 by 3 is less than 2 even if it is coming 2 way slabs but since it is only supported on 2 edges it is actually requiring only main steel in one direction so it is not a 2 way slab but it is a 1 way slab ok so this is one more definition that one way slab is not only ly by lx greater than 2 it is any slab which is supported only on two edges if any slab is supported only on two edges then on two opposite edges sorry this word is important so if any slab is supported on two opposite edges that is that will definitely form a one way slab no matter even if it has ly by lx less than 2 or even if it has ly by lx greater than 2 so I hope you are uh, clear with this concept and uh, in the next lecture we will be solving some numericals uh, or rather we will just see what are the steps involved in the design slab design right. So that's it for today's lecture. Uh, till then take care. Thank you.